Hey everybody, it's PJ from Wisconsin Air Gunners. We've got another scope comparison today. Uh, this time it's the Aztec Emerald 5.5 to 25 by 50 against the Element Optics Helix, which is a 6 to 24, also with a 50 millimeter bell. When we take a look at the two scopes, Dimensionally, they're pretty similar. Um, pretty similar features. Both of them are second focal plane, which means your reticle is going to stay constant as you move through the zoom range. Um, it does mean that depending on what magnification you're at, your holdover is going to be a little different. For my style of shooting, um, because I dial and hold crosshairs, maybe a little left or right for wind. Um, that, that's not a deal breaker feature. Um, so let me run through a couple of the things that are similar and a couple of things that are different. Um, they both have a fast focus eyepiece. Um, they both have zoom ring in the normal spot. The Helix does come with the screw in stud. So you can give yourself a little bit of leverage. And I will say that the Aztec is a much tougher turn, um, even without the stud, than the Helix is. Um, so a little bit smoother operation, um, doesn't take quite as much horsepower to move it. Um, neither of them are sloppy by any means, both of them are, are pretty smooth. In terms of the parallax wheel, I would say, again, the element is just a hair lighter, a hair more smooth. Um, I also think in the couple of weeks I've worked with it that while this is in meters, it's a little more accurate than the wheel is here. Um, onto the thing that matters the most, the turrets for uh, dialing and making your adjustments. Uh, there is really not much comparison between these two. And by that, I mean the Element Optics is much better. Um, you have to pull up on the caps here. Again, not a deal breaker. I'm used to doing that, but there just isn't a lot of positivity to the clicks or the positioning. And every once in a while, I will pull it up, turn it, and then go to set it. And it won't, it won't land just perfectly. And I'll have to do a little bit of a wiggle to get it, to get it set down. I also prefer the, the bigger stand up and there is uh, gradients along the bottom to tell you where in the rotations you are. And then one last thing about particularly the elevation turret, and this to me is a deal breaker now that I've been working with it, um, the zero stop on this is awesome. Click, boom, you're at zero, you're at the bottom, and then you can start counting your clicks up from there. If you're not sure where you are, boom, you're all set. So I really am coming to love that feature and uh, it's something that probably any scope I buy from here out, uh, I'll need to have some sort of res resettable zero stop. Uh, the windage turrets, um, again, same, same deal on the Aztec, just not as crisp as on the Element. The glass, um, is very good on both scopes. Um, I've really never had any complaints about the Aztec, um, but the purpose of the video is to give you an opportunity to see at least as much as possible what I see. So what I've done is set both scopes up on a, on a mount so that I can give you a picture through the glass at 30 meters at a reference target, and I'm gonna put up the comparisons for you so that you can see um, just what the difference is. I think that there is a little bit of an advantage um, going to the Element Optics scope, but it is very close and you really have to look at the, the fine details, but it is just a little bit brighter and I think a little bit clearer. Now, in order to do this, um, and if you want to try this at home, I, I, I'd say go for it. Um, 
the the big thing you have to do is make sure you're taking your pictures and I took a series of pictures through each scope and I took the best picture I could but in order to make an apples to apples comparison um, both scopes were set at maximum magnification um, they were shot at the same distance with the same camera my iPhone 11 Pro with the camera settings locked in place so there's no well this one was shot at a higher exposure than that one um, everything about the camera setup was locked in place uh, which requires a different camera app you can't use the basic one um, and then this is I think the most important thing you have to take the pictures very close to one another and you have to take them under the same lighting conditions I'm here in the backyard range it's a wooded environment so for the most part all day long it's in shade I shot these photos on a overcast day and the pictures were taken within 15 minutes of one another so the lighting conditions were essentially the same for both scopes so go ahead take a look and uh, we'll talk about a few things at the end So everybody, uh, there's our comparison between the Aztec Optics uh, Emerald 5.5 to 25 and the Element Optics Helix 6 to 24 by 50. Um, you can make your own decisions from the uh, comparison photographs. Uh, I hope those have been some help to you if you're looking at either or both of these scopes. I will say that the Aztec is a good scope. Um, I've had this now for over a year and have never had a complaint about it. Um, and in terms of the optical clarity, I think they are very, very close to one another. However, I do think the Helix does have the slightest of edges in the optical clarity department. Um, I think it's a slightly brighter uh, view through the scope. And I think that matters a lot, especially for me shooting in the woods. Um, and once, uh, you know, I'm kind of north part of the northern hemisphere here, um, our days get pretty, pretty short. And it's nice to be able to eke out that little extra bit of shooting time after work, uh, especially because I can walk out my back door and shoot. So I like the brightness um, and where it really is hitting home for me is in the turrets. Um, the use of these turrets is a much better user experience over the Aztec. Um, 
if there's a, if there's a compromise between these two, if you were if you were to go with the Aztec, you're not getting a turret system that is as crisp, as I don't know, pleasant to dial, um, at times as accurate, and um, that zero stop, boy, I just that's really something that's become uh, a must-have for me. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, I uh, hope you'll consider giving us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. Um, we put out videos as often as we can and hope that they're informative and enjoyable to watch. So until the next time, shoot safe, shoot straight, and we'll see you around.